I've said several times that it's unrealistic to expect to be able to solve differential equations. And that fact leaves us with kind of a nagging question. If we can't solve a differential equation, can we at least be sure that a solution exists? That would put us in much the same situation we were in in Calculus 2 where we might not be able to find an indefinite integral, but as long as the function in question is continuous, we at least know that an indefinite integral exists. In this video, we will state a classic theorem for existence and uniqueness of solutions. You are given a differential equation and an initial value problem. And you're asked, does this initial value problem have a solution? And in fact, does it have a unique solution? When we were doing integration, we saw the initial value allowed us to solve for the constant and get a unique solution. This is something we'd like to have in general, even if this is not something we can solve using integration. Remember to use integration, we need this second variable not to be there. And the answer is yes, as long as and I'll put this in quotation marks and then clarify it a little down the line. As long as this function f of x comma y and the partial derivative of this function with respect to y are continuous near the point a comma b. And now, as promised, let's expand on that a little. If it is possible to draw a rectangle rectangle containing the point A comma B in its interior And on that rectangle, both this function and its partial derivative are continuous. 
then the initial value problem has a unique solution on some interval containing A. This theorem is not an if and only if theorem. It probably sounds more complicated than it actually is. I think a quick example will clarify things nicely. Let's look at the differential equation dy dx equals negative y times x. And let's put some initial condition around this y of zero equals a seven. We look at the plane and we look at the point zero comma seven. And what we want, if we're to apply this theorem, is for there to be some rectangle we can draw around this point, such that both this function and the partial derivative of this function with respect to y is continuous in this interval. In, not interval, sorry, in this rectangle. Well, negative y times x is continuous on the entire plane. And the partial derivative of this with respect to y, um, so we treat x as a constant and the partial derivative is negative x. negative x is also continuous on the entire plane. So certainly both these functions are continuous on this rectangle and our theorem is satisfied. And the result of the theorem says, there's some interval containing zero such that this differential equation with this initial value has a unique solution on this interval. What that solution is, we don't know.
we don't know how to solve this, at least not yet. But we know that the solution exists. By contrast, y prime equals one divided by x, y of zero equals zero. And this is not as nonsensical as it might seem. Remember that just because y is defined at zero doesn't mean that its derivative is defined at zero. So you could have a nice continuous function y that's defined at zero, but whose derivative at zero doesn't exist. So the fact that plugging x equals zero into the derivative gives you a division by zero error is not as obviously fatal as it might seem. However, it does mean we can't use our theorem. Um, to use our theorem, we would need to find a rectangle around the origin such that both this function and the derivative of this function with respect to y are continuous on this interval. And it can't be done. This function is not defined when x equals equals zero. So if it's not defined at these points, it's certainly not continuous at these points. And any rectangle containing the origin includes points on the axis. So our theorem cannot be used. There is no guarantee that this initial value problem has a unique solution. And in fact, it doesn't. If y prime equals one divided by x, then y is a natural logarithm function, and we cannot plug x equals zero into this to get to zero. So y prime of x that does have, I mean, y prime equals one divided by x, that has an infinite class of solutions, but this initial value problem has no solutions.